is um, lesson four of the Republic Struggles by me, Christopher, Marlon, and Marcia. Okay, conflict with Car Carthage. Roman Carthage fought over the control of the Western Mediterranean in what was called the Punic War. Carthage was a city in North Africa that controlled some of Spain and Sicily. The Second War of the Punic Wars also tore apart Carthage. Carthage's greatest general, greatest general was named Hannibal. In 218 BCE, he took 40,000 troops and 40 war elephants to Italy from Spain to fight in the Second Punic War. In 200 BCE, the Roman general for, I messed that name up, so. And his army attacked Carthage, forcing Hannibal to go back to Italy. And after Ohio's army defeated Hannibal and his army, and his army, conflict with Carthage part two, the end of Carthage. Many Romans still fear Carthage, even though Hannibal was conquered. conquered. They would always say Carthage must be destroyed. In 146 BCE, the Romans attacked Carthage. They burned and looted the city. They also sold their people into slavery. Rome sent armies to the east where they con conquered Greece and parts of Southeast Asia. From Carthage, Rome gained fertile land for growing wheat in Sicily and North America. Rome was, a, was an empire. Oh, that's an empire. Okay. I know y'all can't see that, but that says, which was a state containing several countries or territories. The empire was divided into provinces, which basically is areas within the empire. What, what were some of the growing pains of Rome? Magistrates, which are, an official, which are officials entrusted with the administration of the law became wealthy by stealing from people and looting from the rich foreign empires. Politicians would sometimes resort to violence or even break or, or even break politics to win, ele to win elections. This slowly stopped the government. When Rome was getting wealthier, many Romans were, were still getting poor. The government feared that the poor would someday riot or start a revolution. So they gave out free grain for them not not to start a revolution. Gaius Marius, a powerful consul, improved the Roman in, and the Roman army. He allowed the poorest Romans to join the army. Around 100 BCE, citizens could afford their own armor, could afford their own armor, and could serve in the military. Mars and the government paid for the poor's equipment. Doing this made their army even stronger. How did Rome change from the Republic to an empire? With the Republic's military commanders commanded new power, they turned their army against the Senate, which caused Rome to go into its first civil war in 87 BCE. An assembly vote to take the power away from Sulla, a general, and move it to Marius. Sulla made a civil war and beat Marius. He became a dictator for one more year. Pompey and Caesar teamed up, used their influence to vote for the government, but they ended up later clashing. And the Senate voted for Pompey, while the two went into war. Went to war with Caesar. Caesar marched his Caesar marched his army across the Rubico River into Italy, which started a civil war. Caesar the civil defeated the Senate and Pompey. He took control of Rome. He used his power to help the poor, but he also made himself a dictator for life. This angered the Senate, which they couldn't because they were greedy and couldn't use that power. After Caesar was murdered by the Senate, his relative Octavian became the leader of the army. He later defeated Mark, Antony, and Cleopatra. In 30 BC, the Republic became an empire, and Octavian became the first Roman emperor. Uh, why did the Republic fall? Octavian changed his name to Augustus, being honorable. He made new rules for Senate membership, increasing property requirements. The emperor could, the emperor could call and lead discussions, introduce laws, and appoint new senators. The Republic fell because of its greed. With the empire's swift expansion, increasing wealth, Rome's gap between the rich and poor. Pressure was being put on the military. Mm -hmm. Military commanders wanted to have more power for themselves as the military group, which caused Rome to go into a civil war. Augustus ended the war, but it also forced the they also ended the Republic, making him the first emperor of Rome. That's our slide. Okay.